Quick disclaimer, Joe's an amazing artist, but if you listen to his show, you know that sometimes you feel like he's got to get touched. Enjoy. Really? Well, he's not really hip hop anymore. He is just kind of like podcast. He's like a wider genre. He is hip hop and he's like podcast hip hop. But you heard what happened to Joe. Okay, wait. All right, Joe Budden. So we're talking about karma. So Joe's been talking crap about Drake. Joe's been talking crap about flipping Tax Stone. Joe was making fun of DJ Envy and his situations. So just always talking crap about people. Joe finally got beat up in the club. Yeah. This one young guy. So they're saying that one of the guys that he was talking junk about, yeah. like put out like a, not a hit, but was like, if you see him, yeah, touch see him. him. Yeah. Yeah, Joe said that's, that's normal. That's, good. that's, that's normal. normal. That's normal in the rap world. That's not the first time that's ever happened. Though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you run your mouth, and that's, I mean, that's like the code of the streets, right? Okay. Code yeah, of the streets, like street code of life. That's not even necessarily karma. That's a street code. Okay. the same thing happened to Suge Knight. Like how Suge Knight used to act like a big, tough guy, like he was untouchable. Yeah. Then he got beat up, too. I didn't know Suge got beat up. Suge got beat up by a barber. Really? The barber set him straight. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, and he was being a bully. And he Always. Got, he got what, he got yeah. what was coming to him. He's saying it's not even karma. That's just the code of the street. That's, those are the jungle rules. Yeah, well, don't talk shit behind a camera and think you ain't going to get caught. Like, that's, that's what it comes down to. Like, you're going to talk shit behind a camera. Just have your dukes up at all times. <laughs> that's it. Go. Because someone's going to test you. He's in jail. The person that put the hit out on him. The stuff that he was saying about tax. Okay, so I'll admit something. When I heard him talking that junk about tax, I said on Twitter, tax needs to touch Joe. Why? It was so rude and outrageous. Yeah, but him and Tackstone has a has a back has a background. I know, but he was just saying stuff that like I just I was like, stop running your mouth. You're only saying that because you know he's in jail for a long time. Did he respond to you? It looks like Tax responded to me. Looks like Tax responded. Tax is the one that got Joe touched. Tax touched Joe. That's some crazy shit. Well. He, he talk so it has the right now to do something to Joe Budden for him doing his job. Like, that's retarded. Why is that in the culture where... I, I, this I, the guy's not if his I, job. That's if, not his if, job to hold disrespect on. the man. No, he's commentating on so, social... He's disrespecting he's, the he man. He disrespected him. He's, 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 you're not going to see the man yeah. for 70 years. Yeah, yeah, How, Wait, wait, wait hold on, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Job. No. That, that's not that's he was saying, he suck said. my dick. He was saying, you Axel won't be out for years when that's you're finally out, all no, no, this listen, stuff like listen, that. Listen, that's his job. No, 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 the man like that. No, no, on, on, it was on, disrespectful. On, on, I sincerely, oh, in my heart, was like, it, tax needs to see on. Joe. I was like, tax needs to actually see Joe. Me and you are beefing, okay? We have words all the time. You go inside. Okay. And you dissed me on the internet? No, no, hold on. I'm sending people for you. Bro. Come on. What are you talking about? This is what I was saying about <laughs> it. That's what I'm doing. This is what I was I'm saying about for it. You're going to diss me. I'm in jail. You're going to diss me on the internet? Come on. I'm calling all my friends, everybody I know. Yo, someone go find Kevin. Okay. <laughs> First man that thumps off his face, I'm giving you all guys right? 500 bucks. All right. That's where I was with it. <laughs> Because it's one thing to have a beef with somebody, but don't go on the internet and diss the person while they're in jail. Hold on. No, but not tax yet. Zone, they're, they're going back and forth, though. <laughs> tax Zone still has access to his social media. No, I'm he not does. Saying, I'm yeah. not saying they're tax not. Tax Zone was but posting saying, shit, too. Reach you. No, but the point I'm trying to make is I should be able to have a business, a podcast, <laughs> a journalist show. Yes. It's how I'm feeding my family. I, I'm com- t- commentated on friggin'. Social issues oh. and stuff like that, and I gotta worry yeah. about you coming after me. Well, if you're no, gonna, not if if you're disrespectful. You're be yeah. Listen, man. Yeah. Of course, people yeah. are gonna come after you. Yeah. If you do your job as a journalist, as a podcast guy, and just do podcasts, do interviews, don't disrespect the guy. That's what I'm saying. You can even do an interview about the guy. So then, my point to, to that is, have that same energy when those other companies say shit about you. When CNN and TMZ, who are you gonna and, beat and up there? And CTV, and City Pulse, and, 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 and all of them, all, all CBS. CBS. When they come on TV and they talk their shit, you have the same energy for them too. But you have the same energy for me. You don't have the same energy for them. 
We're, that's, in, the that's my We're in the street, Kevin. I ain't in the streets. I'm a podcaster making money, feeding my family. That's what I'm doing. I'm not in the streets. He was caught. They caught him in the street stuff. He exactly. was in a strip club Hold exactly. by himself. Wait, wait. Exactly. No, no. In the hood. Exactly. Let's not mix up in the streets and being outside. <laughs> okay. okay. In the streets. They caught him you're outside. Doing gangster shit. That's fine. They caught him you're outside. Crying. They if caught I just him outside. Go to the corner in the store. streets and in the strip club is the same thing. Nah, B. We talking about, bro. Nah, B. We talking about. What, what, say that. what innocent stuff's happening in the strip club, bro? No, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying in, in the strip club and in the strip okay. club is the same is a street, bro. What are you talking okay, about? Okay. Can we admit that the culture in, in Atlanta strip club is not being in the street? It's, it's like going to the mall. It's like going to the freaking restaurant or the yeah. corner store. <laughs> yeah. They hang out there like it's like nothing to them. He's in New York, though. In There's New York, a big strip culture in New York too. Yes, but if, sucks, if, if the strip club sucks, is in Queens, if you're going it's to the, the street. Club, they expect to see men in the strip yeah. club. Yeah, I don't see yeah. it's not like you're going no, to the mall. Right. Yeah, if you're going to the mall, or you're Starbucks. not going to see the man in the yeah. mall. Yeah, yeah, you're going to see the man in the strip club. You know, For sure. The same way you're going to see the man on the street. Yeah, true. So it's kind of like I give you that. I give you that. And to Joe's fault, he was he's walking too loose, bro. If you know you have too many enemies. And he's just willy nilly walking around the face. Multi millionaire. Yeah, you know that's what, what his friend he said. He wasn't moving he smart. Was that's not that's moving smart. Though. He wasn't moving yeah. smart. And he admitted it too. That part, he, he admitted admit it. it. So he says he's going to get security now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you should have had security a long time ago. Yeah, For time sure. Ago. I know. But Joe's the type of person that he don't back down, though. If he stopped dropping, he should have got security. Well, the biggest show, because you know he's underneath the guy's pick because the guy was bragging about punching him. So he knows who punched him. It was weak, though. You don't sucker punch a guy, though. No. He was underneath the guy's yeah. pick saying, oh, what did he say? Yeah. He was like, because he broke his hand on his face, right? Yeah. So Joe feels like he kind of won the fight. No. So the worst part is, I just wanted Joe to be uh, humble. I this listen- hasn't humbled Joe at all. I, I, I listened to the podcast, the last yeah. one. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, the way he was talking wasn't right, that, right, um, right. it was a full fight because they're they were in a slipping and stuff. area, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're slipping around, yeah. you know what I mean? He acknowledges that the guy clocked him. Yeah. He's walking, bro, that's some weak move, bro. You're in a strip club. That's not you a weak move. just get there. That's the move. You take the move. Sucker punch? No one respects so someone. I'm punch. sorry. Someone okay. No, 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 no. Sucker I don't punch? Know. No, man that says that. Sucker punch? No. He didn't invite him outside to fight. No, 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 no. Who are you? You, you see your enemy. No, 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 no. You see, you see, really somebody you want to punch. No, no. You're gonna invite them outside, no, or you're no, just no. gonna punch that's them. If someone lines up and punches you in your face, that's not a sucker punch. That's not a sucker punch. No, if someone right. punches you in the back of your head, that's okay? a sucker punch. Okay. Okay. No, then. Wait, wait. Hold on. What Nissa just said is that's not accurate. No, I know you're I'm, right. I'm no, I'm, no, I'm no professional on punches. No, listen. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if a guy rocks up to you and clocks you in the face, that's not a sucker punch. No, but like, he walked up to you and let you know no. he's going to punch you in the face. He didn't walk up to him. That's not what happened. Cause he he saw him pull him back. He, he said he pulled back. back. No. no. Joe, Joe says that he got to the club. Okay. He was having a good day. He's like, let me just go to the club. He, he, he went right. even meet, meet at the reach of the front of the club because he knows everyone in the club. He knows the security. He knows all the girls in there. He knows bro, he's, a, he's a regular there. Yeah. Okay. So he says when he got in, you know, he daps up whatever he sees and he goes and tries to, he wants to convert his money for, to once so that we could throw the money Hell. to the stripper. Just get Hold to on. the fight part. That's what he said. <laughs> so, so he wants to go to this section now, right? He's by the bar here. He wants to go over there. When he, he has the money in his pocket, when he turned around the corner, oh, no. there was a group of guys there, and one guy goes bang in his face one time. That was a sucker punch. It was a surprise punch. That's what a sucker punch is. You don't know it's coming, you don't expect it. The homeboy clocks you and you don't see it. That's a weak move, bro. That's weak, you don't do that. I feel like it's an opportunity. He saw an opportunity and he seized it. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no man respects that. That's a sucker. No punch, man right? respects that? No. That's a rule. Okay. Hey, if you're having a one on one fight. You read the rules in the street fight. Yeah. Right? Oh, there are no rules in street fighting. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hey, hey, did something change? Did I, when, when I was away on vacation, did some rule? Did you guys have a meeting about. No. <laughs> anyway. Sucker punch. Here? Catch What's me that? up, please. Because I. Pete. Catch me up. All right. <laughs> What's up? You're I'm looking. On that one, the back of the head. I'm looking to fight somebody, oh, Joe Budden. I'm looking to fight Joe Budden. 
I see Joe in the club. Maybe Joe doesn't see me, but as soon as I see Joe, I punch Joe. That's a sucker punch? What's a sucker punch? When the guy's not expecting it. You're not expecting it, man. You're not expecting the punch. I, I'm kind of with Panther where it feels like from behind. It's a, it's a surprise feels like punch. A sucker you guys punch. Know that I feel like surprise. You don't even know who the guy is. I don't recognize the guy. Yo, you yeah, don't even know who the guy is. Who the guy is taking? Look at that. You wake up and you go, what happened? Yeah. That's about it, right? Not no, Steve was squaring me off and he's dropping the story. That's the story that Nisa gave us. I gave you the story. That's the story that you gave us. What story? It's the same story. It's two different stories. It's the same story. Now, you said the guy walked up to the guy and punched the guy in the, in the face in the, in the club. And now I'm hearing the guy popped out, uh, out of nowhere and punched the guy. That's two different things, man. Kev just put some sugar on it to prove his point. I gave you the real. That's not fair. That's a fucking punch. Hey, and watch this. this one if I punch. see you, if I'm but surprised, you, I'm going to kill that show. Listen, and I don't wait for if a guy walks up to you and says, wow. Yeah. That's not a sucker punch. Okay, that's but, what happens. But if you're just walking and the guy just jumps out and says, bam, that's a sucker punch. Because <laughs> you don't see the guy coming. It's the same as being hit in the back of the head. Watch this. On top of it. Joe did not say he didn't see him coming. Joe said he saw somebody in a mask. You're with a crew of guys, right? This is why it makes it even more pussy. You're with a crew of men. You're with the men now. And you see the, the op right there. Okay? And I go, yo, there's homeboy right there. Go get him. Get? You're supposed to pull up on me, bro. And, 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 and talk and junk? Watch this. Talk junk for five like, minutes? Be, they're, here's, they're like, it's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. You go deal with him, soldier. They send the soldier, yeah. you go deal with him, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You go deal with him. Yeah. Okay. Now it's a one-on-one, -on -one and you sucker punch the fucking guy. And don't knock him out? Oh, shit. You better make sure you knock me out, bro. Okay, I'm sorry. You gotta make sure. So this is where I disagree. If I'm with a crew of people and only one person goes over for a fair one, that's a fair one. They could have all jumped him. They couldn't have all jumped him. They could have all jumped him. I gotta know it's a fair one. You can't just be like, bang. No, it's a fair one. Like, what kind the of bang was, that? hello, we're dancing. Oh, <laughs> come on, there's no way how you slice that up. That's not <laughs> if it's a, a fair one means it's a fair fight. That's what it means, a fair one-on-one -on -one fight. That's what a fair one means. You just, want, mean you just want the talking and the going back and forth. and the No, I don't do lip service. Mark, if you come up to me moves. and you're like, I, I can see you're the aggressor, I'm going to prepare myself. Okay. That's just it. I'm going to prepare myself. I'm like, okay, I'm assuming there's a crew because there's no such thing as a one-on-one -on -one these days. Everyone wants to jump into the fight, especially if your man's just getting his ass kicked and now everyone else wants to jump in. It's like, I got to assume that there's a crew. So if I get hit, I got to look around and back up to make sure no one comes around from behind. Only, well, only one guy did it. Only one only guy one did guy, it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Joe is still I running mean, his mouth. If someone runs up to me, I'm in the club and some total stranger runs up to me and wants a fight. I'm assuming he's with, with people. Or he's a real bad boy. Because, <laughs> and then I respect that because he's walking okay, up to me Okay, well by this himself. is what happened. I'll respect Later. that. Later. Are you going to be around? You got plans for tomorrow? I'm going to be here for about tomorrow. Let me know what you think about that square. I okay. Will. Will. What did you say? I said, do you have any plans for tomorrow? Are you, are you free all afternoon? I'll, I'll be flexible. Okay, so Joe's hand is broken. He won the fight. Not broken. Joe's hand is fractured. He won the fight. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even think. I think I would consider it a draw. I don't know. If, I don't know if that considers him winning the fight. Yeah. But what's the next guy in the play? Nothing. The next guy's unscathed. Joe said he got <laughs> one off. But it's so much yeah. slipping around. No, Joe made it seem like he, he got, got one on off and then he got to town. He, admits he the got guy to got business. on top of him when they were on the ground because they slip on the ground. Yeah. Now the guy's on top of him. So he bear hugs him, which was a smart move. The guy couldn't get off any shots. They're basically tussling now. And the security came and broke it up. But Joe said he got one off, so. <laughs> I like Joe. I like Joe. I like but I feel like sometimes Joe's not, he's too arrogant sometimes. I only like that one song he had. Not Pump It Up, don't bother. <laughs> bump, bump, don't bump, bother. Bump, 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 bump it up. <laughs> Other than that, like, I'm not a fan of Joey. 
Well, that's his thing, though, right? Because didn't him and Drake get into it, too? Yeah, recently. Yeah. And Drake well, was no, inviting him to the streets. Not recently. Uh, Recently, yeah, just the other recently day. Again? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But didn't he do that yeah. before the album? Yeah. 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 yeah, they're they're frenemies. They're frenemies. That was a long time. I'm talking about not the recent one. I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about just before. yes, so this long before. Thing, right? yeah. Yes, Joe did a whole bunch of diss records against Drake. Yes, exactly. But recently, I guess just yeah, because Joe has to critique. Joe critiques albums on his podcast, right? That's his thing. Yeah, so that opens him up to that's what artists that's getting what sensitive. Like. Just like what's his name? Just like Charlie Mane. Charlie Mane. Charlemagne the God. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. He's on his talk show, he's talking shit about people. Charlemagne got punched. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So. Yeah. No, but wait a minute. If I'm commenting on your album, this is your album, not you. Okay, I'm commenting on the work that you did. There you are. Regardless of what I say, whether you like it or not, that should not result in you wanting to fight. No, I, I, I agree. I'm not saying because that. Because you don't hear that if Rolling Stones hit right. the back right. and fucking uh, uh, Rolling Stones magazine says the album is right. shit. You don't see Rolling Stones Mick Jagger pulling up and try to fight the CEO of fucking Rolling You don't see that. I think it's because they are a part of the culture That's a bad, and know, because of Joe's you know, power. I, I, you know what? That needs to be excommunicated out of the culture. Fuck that. I don't, that should not be in the culture. Hmm. What? We're talking about hip-hop culture, right? Yeah, DJ Fuck Academics that. gets the same kind of hate too. as an artist, as a person, to be able to take criticism. Because if you surround yourself by yes men and you put out a shit body of work and I say, yo, that's, that's every a shit body of work, okay? That's your fault. Well, so that, you should be able to take it. Like, if I put out music, I'm going to take the criticism. That's part of it. That's part of being an entertainer. People are going to critique you. That's, that's like Entertainment 101 if you're an entertainer. So I'm sorry. That's a bad thing in the, in the quote unquote culture. That we yeah. Have. Well, that's just people keeping it real. What? People keeping it real. Yo, we can need to go back to the yo. Remember the source? The yeah, to yeah, the source? yeah. Holy bro! Five mics. We commit suicide. Five mics in the source. Come on, Panther. It you remember the value of that? Yeah, five mics, bro. Or even the worst mics. You don't even get. You get half a mic. Yeah. Look that's at those, and dead. then they're writing your a whole done. page on your album. Yeah, your career is dead at that point. Dissecting it. When I say they're dissecting it, they're dissecting it. They saw some, no, some people got seen back in those days. Some people, when, when they saw them, they saw them, for sure. Wendy Williams got ran up on a whole bunch of times. Puff was like beating up everybody well, back in those that's days. That's to show you that's freaking bad. That's bad. That's bad, man. That's not fucking something to celebrate. It's just Come always on. been the way the culture is. It's they're like making their half money. streets. They're in a profession. They're not in the streets. They're working. They're working their nine to five or running their business. And just because they said something that I don't like should not be justification for me to roll up on. <laughs> even leave if, the streets even out, if leave, I leave the, you. leave the streets out your mouth. If I'm talking about your music, bro, that's then it's thing. the music. That's one thing, but when you start talking about my family and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and my sister, that's oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. That, that that like Wendy Williams does. Wow. Yeah. Like Wendy Williams does. Wendy Williams does. That's my room though. That's my oh, method. Yeah. yeah. Right on the That's room, it. Bro. Yeah. Talking about his wife uh, having cancer. Yeah. No, yeah. No, no, I agree on that. That's the line. That's my Yeah. Uh, Saying Puffy like, and Mace were gay. Journalism is journalism. Like, but when you start coming for people, it's like personal. Like, what do you expect people to do? You know what the problem is? The culture has rewarded that sort of behavior. So people, yeah, shock jocks, right? So people Listen, become like it's been popular around, for it. It's been around since the daughter time. If you can't handle it, then get, get out the kitchen, man. That's it. Okay, I love it. Okay? Yes. It's perfect with the tax on scenario. Okay, so, so, I'm in the club. I have a beef with a guy, okay? I'm not thinking it's going to come to guns, okay? okay? As far as the concern, it's Fist. words, right? Yeah, words. It's back and forth. It's okay. Words. I get hired to do a job because he was supposed to be there, Troy Ave. I think he was supposed to perform. Yeah. Okay? Tax Zone comes into the club with a gun. Talking about snitching. Okay? Uh -huh. Kept uh -huh. giving us a scenario. So, so Tax Zone seizes off and draws the gun, okay? Tries to shoot him. A fight ensues. I wrestle the gun away from Tax Zone, right? The camera now catches me with the gun. 
pointing it, firing. Okay? Someone dies. Okay? Now, you have to have forensics, okay? Because everyone's assuming I'm the shooter. Because everyone's running and I'm the one that's popping off, yeah. right? But I'm really shooting back at the guy that shot at me. Okay? I get charged. I get charged now. Yeah. With shooting the person who's dead. So I don't remember what happened. So what happened so, to Tax Stone? So, ta so well, I wrestled the gun away from you. So watch this. From shooting Tax me. Tax was shooting first. Yes. We start fighting. Yes. I get the gun from you. Yes. And I, I start accidentally... shooting back. Okay. But the camera is, sees me as the only one that's the shooter. Yes. Okay? But who killed the person is what I'm right. saying. So the cops charged me with the guy's death. Who killed I'm the answering, person? I'm answering. The cop charges me with the guy's death, right? Now, they want to charge me with, you know, wrongful discharge of a firearm, yeah. all, all this shit that, you know, they throw everything under the sun at you. And now I'm being tried for that guy's death. Fast forward months later, forensic comes back and shows that actually Tax Stone is the shooter. Okay? And it was his discharge of the weapon that kills the guy. Now, I got to go to court to defend myself. So where's the snitching question? That's what I'm asking. If I'm in court right now saying, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, right, because I got to fight now so that way I don't go to court, go to court because I'm, I'm claiming self-defense. Can I say who did it? But uh, Troy, I've never, ever said Tax Stone did it. He was defending himself. Is that snitching? Because for, for him to say, no, for are, you to say you didn't do it is a snitching. Saying, Troy, I have yeah, but snitching. who's Troy, owning up to it, though? Here's That's the question. The problem. <laughs> Who's owning up to it? If, if you didn't do it, they, they, yo, did? they don't have nothing on me. So I could oh, say, yo, they, I didn't do it. No, yeah. but, so but they also want to someone's got it. So obviously somebody has to step up and say, yo, all right, it was me. I'm going to take the thing because right, it right, was tax, me. Tax Instead of making everybody <laughs> suffer for... You're, you <laughs> fucking up and you're making everybody else suffer? That's fucked up. I think that's worse than snitching. You if not you saying me, anything. You're you letting letting everybody other down. Take the fall. It's you did some shit you did and you fucked up. And now these guys are you're not gonna you're not gonna own it, you're not gonna or you want everybody else to go to jail with you. For what? That doesn't make no fucking sense. That don't make sense. If it was your enemy that was gonna fall, if it was the person you were trying to kill that would have to take the fall, you would still say something, you'd still put yourself up there? What do you mean? It was basically Troy Al. Like call for crime stoppers. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, to incriminate himself. Troy Al should have never taken the stand. I don't like that guy. Who? Can I get my money? You're saying Troy Al should have never taken the stand. So between these two guys, yeah, they want to kill each other. Yeah. Right. Why are well, you taking the stand? Why for someone that someone I didn't kill? When yeah, for sure you're not. You're trying to kill me. For sure not. But, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put myself if, under the bus for my enemy. If people are saying if they don't know it's me, talked. they don't know it's me. If they think it's you, and they can't prove it's you, that's on well, you. But if they don't know it's me, it's not me. And because he spoke on a stand, no, he's, he's gonna have to clear him. himself. He's gonna you're that's gonna have to clear yourself for sure. You're gonna clear your own name. You Clearing your own name is a snitching. No. Beyond a reasonable doubt. Yeah. <laughs> when you're saying who did it, and oh, I can tell yeah. you. That's, yeah, right, that's yeah. right. Yeah, and he never did that. Well, he never did that. He never said, Tax Stone, try to shoot no. me. I fought Tax Stone. He's saying, no, that's, it wasn't me. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. You're allowed to say that. Like, you have it was to me. say that, yeah. If it wasn't you, it wasn't you. it was me. Right? They're asking you, did you do it? No. Right. Right. <laughs> that's how that works, right? And you're not taking a charge for a buddy, right? Right. Not only a buddy, your enemy, the person that tried to uh, kill you. You're not going to take a charge for the person that tried to kill you. For sure not. you for it. Yeah. Yeah, so his because friend... Because the only way Taxo would get off is if Troy Ab didn't talk. But Troy Ab was being blamed for his friend's death. Exactly. Okay, so he had to say something. Right, so that's what I'm saying. He's put yeah. in a corner where he has to defend yeah, himself. I know. I know. And, and, I used and to... because he has to say, well, uh, we, I got into a fight. So who you got into a fight? Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. into a fight. Yeah. Because remember, yeah. he has to claim self-defense too yeah. also. Yeah. Because he did discharge you have to the name, weapon. You have to name the person you were defending yourself against. You have against. to discharge the weapon, right? Maybe not. So I don't he's know. going to get charged for discharging a weapon, even if it's not for the murder. Yeah. In New York, you're going to do a minimum of 10 years. You're sitting down. He didn't do anything, though. He hasn't seen any time. No, no, no he didn't. But he got arrested. He got charged. Yeah. He was sitting down for a minute. Jada is so Try funny. Oh, Jada. Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada really feels like she's from the streets, you guys. I know. 
Jada really feels like she's from the street. Jada said on Red Table Talk, Will threw her under the bus. No, no, no. Will threw her under the bus. And the only reason why she didn't come after him is because it would have been like going to Miami to pick up some cocaine and ratting on your friend after no, selling it on the streets. Well, yes. How did Will Smith... Throw, wait, wait. What, how, what is she talking about Will Smith threw her under the bus? For what? On Red Table Talk, she's saying Will made it seem like he didn't know that Will made it seem like they were together when they had wait, agreed wait, to have like... she made it seem like they were together. She's saying Will made it seem like they were together and that Will made it seem like he didn't know. How? So when they weren't together the and Will knew. The man didn't say none for years. And now, yo, that's gaslighting to the point. They're books. Listen, I, I ended Will's book thinking, Will's so sweet. He's the only monogamous man in the world. <laughs> Will, is, Will is talking about throwing up. <laughs> Will is talking about groupies making him throw up, all this stuff like that. Now, according to Jada, Will's been stepping out. Will's living his own life. He should have Will been. don't give her no love. Will's never around. Never around. I was like, I got to go back and read Will's book now. I got to compare chapters because these two, and it's so funny because Will had said this and this is. You're really falling for that, eh? I know. (laughs) Falling for what? Wow. Propaganda. For the whole propaganda. Will's propaganda? propaganda The the whole, all of it. (laughs) All of it about your reading book. Come in here (laughs) questioning (laughs) big man about book (laughs) that Jada wrote. I'm not questioning you. Listen, listen, my man. Listen, my man, a big man you talk to, you know. You talk to man about book where Jada writes. Propaganda. Move yourself. Anyway. But it is propaganda. Will did a very, very successful propaganda book. Yeah, it's rich people Yes, it is rich people things. It is rich people things. Yeah, like, that's not, that's what they do. Because even right now, she's depressed. At this point in the book, she's depressed. She's not happy with none of her life. None of that stuff made her happy. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Deep depression. I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And 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 uh, uh, and the daughter belongs to Tupac. Yeah, man. And the daughter. That's what we're gonna hear. That's what we're gonna hear next. No, no, it's, it's no. actually no. Tupac's kid. But I told you, I told you she kept Pac off the streets, right? She was protecting Pac from the street life, according to the book. Listen. Tupac was proposing to her. No, that wasn't the girl that was at Tupac's bed when when Tupac got shot. It wasn't her. She wasn't the girl at the bed. There was a girl, eh? I know. Tupac had a girl. He wasn't gay. It wasn't her. Quincy Jones. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Quincy that was at the side of the bed. It wasn't her. Yeah. You, you're gonna follow that propaganda and believe all that now? Now you believe that? There's there's some stuff in the book that I don't believe. Yeah. Yeah. And I wasn't expecting to not believe the stuff. When I read these biographies, especially you're writing your own biography, autobiography, then I'm yeah, expecting it to be like... But they're not being honest, though. Honest. Yeah. There's but some they, parts in it where it's like, if there's still a lot of ego, but like her talking like she's this queen pen from the streets, that like her default is street life. Likes, man. Right. That's all for likes. All right. That's all for likes. No, but and, even and well. You're just, you're just diving into it. No. Head What's first. So funny, yeah, that's for likes. That's not even real. What's so funny is the reason why I read the book, I wanted to read the book is because Will was like, wow, after 30 years of knowing somebody, you really don't know somebody. But that's why he's saying that. The that's, way she's talking. That's not even Will's real. like, who is this person? You believe that's real, Misa? <laughs> like, come on. I understand you got a job to do, but come on. <laughs> I'm not reading not it for real. this. I'm reading it for pleasure. That's just not Sorry. fucking real. <laughs> it's like my new guilty pleasure. That shit is not fucking real. Yeah, no, it's it not. Juicy. You gotta make yeah. it interesting. Otherwise, her life's boring. I feel like she tried to spice it up with the street yeah. stuff. Of course. Of course she did. Of course. Well, she, she, has has to. she has to. Yeah. <laughs> Baltimore. In what way? Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore. Because we know that. Baltimore. She said she got Camera robbed here. selling crack. Camera she time. said she got robbed selling Camera. crack. Because you know that those crackers that she was selling crack to, they're still smoking. Yeah, so <laughs> let's go to her neighborhood and see if anyone knows her. I think that's fair. I've never heard anybody say Listen. Jada Pinkett Smith served me. Listen. That's never been a rumor. That's, that's, that is like so propaganda again. Right. That is a lie. And that's in her book. Yeah. That's the in the book. book. The so whole, whole book's a lie, bro. The <laughs> whole book's a lie. Come on. You're putting stupidness like that in your book and you know it's not true? Uh, your whole book's a lie. I feel like that's, that's why Will was like, Will said, I've known you for 30 years. 
ain't never heard none of these stories. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Will's saying. How have I, know, right, how have I yeah, known absolutely. you for so long and I don't really yeah, know you? Exactly. He's being sarcastic. But I think Will was also really surprised by her unhappiness. He's being sarcastic, I think. Yeah. That's what it sounds but like. Also, her unhappiness is like really. Well, yeah. You gotta love yourself, eh? Yeah. You that's gotta love what, yourself. Yeah. You can't try to pretend to be someone else and then, of course, you're gonna be depressed because you're not that person. You're you. You're an actor, actress, whatever. But you still have a life outside of that. So I'm saying you have to love that life, not just when yeah. you're on the screen and whatever people love you. Yeah. That's not you. When was the last yeah. time she actually acted, though? That know. part. So a lot of her Could stuff, exactly. a lot That's of her self loathing. Right? Narcissistic tendencies, right? right. She hates so, Will. Because Will's still acting and he's still doing his thing and people love him. This is it. She said, um. Okay, so She's this is funny. This, this is funny. That's what sounds, yeah. That's what she that's said <laughs> she had a dream she was a werewolf and she bit off Will's face and chewed him up and then only his finger was left and she kicked his finger. <laughs> Imagine saying stuff like that. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. That's the only reason why we're hearing about this stuff is because she has the platform to forget. Yeah. Guess what, guys? I'm writing a book, yeah. and you're gonna hear yeah. all the stories. Yeah. Like, whatever. Did you hear what that smaller oh, man said about me to millions, millions of people? people? No. <laughs> exactly. Right. It's a narcissistic tendency. No, Bati. No, Bati. She used to be the cutest yeah, thing in the world in the nineties. You didn't what? have a crush on Jada Pinkett Smith? A different world times? Crazy. A different world? Crazy. Yes. yes. Menace of society. How about Lisa Bonet? Not, hey, not hey, Jada. Hey, not hey, Jada, hey, Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm. Menace of society? What? No. None, Jada? Never. Never a day. Jada? Never a day. Come on, man. <laughs> Who's into that? Who's into that kind of stuff? <laughs> you, like, you, got, you got to be a certain type of guy to be into that kind of stuff. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That never happened. She said she actually had a pretty good time like in her heydays. She was with whomever, whenever, wherever, Ooh, for always. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she get any no, of them. For <laughs> sure. What's that? The slap. I'm telling her about the slap that you showed me. How far? How long ago? The the black woman that slapped the guy. No. Which slap? The Will Smith and. Yes, Smith, yes, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. So remember, you showed me that yes. it happened. Yes. Wait, where was that? How long ago was that? In the '60s. I don't know when that clip 70s? was from. I don't know when that clip was from. But there's a clip. They probably reenacted it then, so I can't there's, even believe Yeah, exactly. That. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, yes. What's up, Sue? Hey. All right. Good, good. Well, Love we'll it. It's so, a random Wait, question. He's either liquid spirit. Just inspired by what he's doing for the weekend. How important is it to have hobbies? To have hobbies? Yeah. Yeah. Like this one looks cool. Like, yeah, the video thing, they got fucking... Yes, everyone oh, needs to have a hobby. Easy. Definitely. Yeah. Everybody needs to have a hobby. Something to keep yourself occupied. Especially in this country too, like like in the winter months, you gotta figure out what you're gonna do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you can't go outside and do anything, so you gotta figure out what you're gonna do to keep yourself occupied. So yeah, hobbies are 100% important. You know what I mean? Sure. Hobbies, guys? Yeah, yeah, definitely have hobbies. Winter time is uh, my skiing time. So okay, I love that. I love to ski. What's your winter hobby? My winter hobby? Video games. Yeah? Yeah. That's cool. I didn't know you were a gamer. What oh, games are you big playing? Gamer. I don't even know if I deserve that kind of title. <laughs> I play, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I play because I'm still interested in playing video I games. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah that I'm, I've what been video doing games that. are you playing? <clears throat> I like playing hockey. Yeah? New NHL. I like, like role playing games as well. Oh, cool. Like RPG games. Yeah. So, for instance, like Spider Man, like me, I'm playing Spider Man right now. Yeah. Which is fun. Cool, cool. To me, video games, for me, yeah. reminds me of when I was growing up. Yeah. And I'm playing like with like action figures and I'm pretending yeah, they're yeah, doing yeah, certain yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. I can actually make yeah. them do it cool, in the game. You know cool, what I'm saying? Yeah. Cool. Like I love that. Drive cars, whatever, right? Like Grand Theft Auto. That's what I'm one. saying. I've always wanted to play that game. You haven't played Grand Theft Auto? No. <laughs> I don't play video games. The last video game I played was Super Mario Did 3. That what? was like the last video game I was good at. You know how advanced <laughs> these games are now? I know, I've yeah. seen them. And what's so funny is and you don't the have to main users are actually adults. 
Yeah, exactly. It's the biggest exactly. industry. It's as big as television, film, music combined, yes. and the main users are adults. Imagine that. Imagine Crazy. That. I know. Yes, I know. Yes, 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 brother. Yeah. Hobbies. Yeah, because I was about to say yeah. one more thing about about gaming. Um, what was I gonna say? Sorry, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Come on, this is tuned still. <laughs> yeah. Um, Video games. I can't remember what. I lost my train of thought on that. It's okay. Kev, hobby. Hobbies? How important are hobbies? They're very important. Keep you busy. Uh, what new hobbies are going to try to pick up? I don't know. Maybe I'll get back into like building something like uh, oh, cool. robots and shit like that. That's cool. I when I was a kid. You know, like cars and helicopters and yeah. all that kind yeah. of stuff. I tried that. Making a Did robot? That. Like models? Models, yeah. yeah. Like, Not even just models, like RCs. Remember remember the toy when they gave you a wrench? It was like silk, it was yeah, like yeah, plates yeah. with a whole bunch yeah, of yeah. holes in it and yeah. bolts and yeah. you put, put shits together? Yeah. I think I might do that again. So, oh, this is what I was going to say. So, Grand Theft. Yeah. I'm talking to you, Lisa. Yeah. So, Grand Theft is a game you don't have to play by yourself anymore. I love that. You can play online. online with other people. Right. So, so for instance, so... My nephew, my nephew would tell me, yo, let's link up online on Grand Theft. Oh, I love that. And it's so cool because it's a big city. Yeah. The city's huge. So he'll, he'll see me on the map and I just see this car pull up. Ah, he's like, yo, what's up? And I jump in the ah, car with him. Really? Yes. Come on. What are you talking about? So, and then we do missions. Like, for Come instance, on. we did, we did, a, we did like a bank robbery one. That's so Cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where I'm the driver or whatever the yeah, van, and yeah. then these other guys, other guys, like it's not just. Yeah. They're all real people. I love this. It's amazing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I gotta do it. I gotta try. Especially how advanced it so is. So what do you need? So you just get like a a PlayStation. You get a PlayStation and a and a um and a subscription. Okay. That's it. The game, PlayStation, the game, and a subscription. And you just buy the game online now. You don't have to you get a physical game, game right, anymore. Right. That's right. And Grand Theft is a game that doesn't end, right? So okay, you just continue playing on it. They always adding new, new missions to, to the it. same one. To the same, yeah. So how do you win? Well, if you story mode is different. Like if you play story mode, that's yeah. not online. And then they have different missions in the story mode where you okay. have to obviously achieve. You win story mode. Yeah, you can beat story mode. Okay. You know what I mean? I've yeah. never done it. Yeah. Because that's a lot of hours. Yeah. You gotta. Yeah, it's a big commitment. I don't have the time, really. Hmm. That'd be cool to finish one. How important are hobbies? How important are hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> How important are hobbies? Very important. Yeah, you inspired me with you, your touch football story, man. It gives you time to take away from everyday life, so you, something you enjoy, something you're into, something that uh, connects with you, so, and maybe something you can pass on to something, to hmm. a loved one or someone, you know? Right? Come on, Just so. kids? No, no, no. Really? Why, well, you want some? Uh, you want some? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you yeah. No, but it's true, though. And especially, like I said, the, 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 for me, like the gaming thing is good because it's cold outside. Yeah. In the winter, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So that helps me. I want to take up gaming now. Yeah, I, I think, think it's like the coolest thing. It is. It is. It is. I might even just get lost in Grand Theft Auto. You got, yeah, look how many games are over here. Have you Diablo. ever played Diablo? No, I never played Diablo. Never played that one. That game's been out for a while, too. Yeah. yeah, I think it's like up to like chapter four. Not my type of game. It's not my kind of game. Okay, why? I don't understand. Like just like I like I like stories. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I want to like dive into. And so like the they story. tell you the story. They and is you it act, like you're basically a part of like a movie yes. almost. And then your decision making, which I love about some of these games. Yeah. Your decision that you make, because some of them you have to have conversation and dialogue with 
with like the AIs or whatever in the yeah. game. And depending on your, depending Whoa, on the dialogue you have with them, you gonna allow is how they're going to treat you later in the game. Okay. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh -huh. so, so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, 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 it's cool. <laughs> Oh, these guys had a funeral today. Okay. Stres and his friend had a funeral today. They were just hugging in a really sweet way. Nice. Yeah. So I want to talk about addictions. Sex addiction. Talk to them about addictions. Why not? Sex addiction? Yeah, any addiction. <laughs> any addiction. What's the line between just somebody that, oh, I'm just somebody that drinks and I've got like an addiction problem? Right. Ah, when it starts fucking with your health hmm. and it prevents you from being productive. When right. you feel say you need it. Uh, when you need it, it's a need in your life. I need it. Can't say no. Yeah, if it's, if it's, like if it's, if it's an everyday thing for you, if, it, if it's overlapping into your everyday life, yeah. then yeah, you get, there's problems, there's a big problem. Yes. Yeah. Right. But to control you, you know, right. can't let it right. deal with your personal life, your work life, your relationship, right. like whatever, you know, work yeah. life, your man. Yes. Have you ever beaten an addiction? Have I ever what? Beaten an addiction. To you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever That's beaten an addiction? <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was addiction though, because so no. if, if I'm doing something like well, it's, it's my choice. We well, had this conversation. Yeah. Like it I know what I'm getting you. myself into. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not naive to what's gonna. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. possibilities. So I pick and choose what I'm gonna do. Like, for instance, I'm not going to try crack. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? Right. Once, once you do it once, right. that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't need proof that you'll yeah. crack or, yeah. you. You know what I mean? Or, or you'll right. know. Right. Or you don't need proof that you're going to like it. Right. Exactly. You know and I don't right. know that China is like, oh, that was garbage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do it. Right. right. Imagine right. that shit. Right. Yo, don't do it, bro. It's garbage. Right. Exactly. That one person never did that. Exactly. So, yeah. So, yeah. I pick and choose what I what I decide to try an adventure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know if it. So when you ask me if I was in an addiction, have you ever beaten an addiction? I maybe. You don't, you maybe don't have for, really an addictive personality though. You're the type that will. No, but I did like okay, so when I started doing E. When cool. I did E for the first time, and I never had this feeling in my entire life before. Wow. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I, I kind of liked it. I yeah. liked it a lot. Okay. But when I realized but that you were you know, it's affecting it. me. Yeah, yeah. You, it's not a drug where you're like craving. No, 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 no. You know what like I mean? Like cigarette. Yeah. Yeah, like you don't really crave for like, right. oh, you're a fiend. You need to do some E right now. You know what I mean? Right. No. But that's not that type of a drug. Though, no, it's it? not that type oh. of a drug. It could be addictive. Any drug Any could drug. be addictive, True. right? Yeah. But yeah. it doesn't have that highly addictive trait to it. Right. Like cocaine. Or, yeah, it's not uh, something you can do every day. You need to do every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't do it. It's more. It's a true. It's a party, party drug. drug. Yeah, it's a party. Okay, drug. great. So I want to talk about that too. Are there drugs that are good? Cause like what? Are there drugs that are good? Good? Yeah. Cause while I was reading um, well, it depends Jada's on book, the she's the doing dose. ayahuasca as therapy. I heard about yeah, that. So like weekly, is, weekly ayahuasca. ayahuasca. Not addictive, it's not an addictive type of drug. Though. And you're not supposed to do it much of that either, no. right? You don't no. do that that often. And it's supposed to be for a purpose. Right. I guess they have therapies. Yeah. It does. Retreats. Actually, yeah. ayahuasca helps uh, addiction. Hmm. A lot of addicts who've done, gone through the whole process of ayahuasca. I feel like mushrooms are the same doesn't, way. Doesn't, doesn't, they don't crave for it no more. I feel like mushrooms are the same thing. They like remove yes, yes. Um, cravings yes. of like cigarette, everything. Yes. Listen, you know what? All drugs come from the earth. It's when you start synthesizing it. And processing it is when it really it becomes a problem. Becomes non for the purpose of what it was God created it for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And you also <coughs> you gotta also keep in mind too, so that a lot of the great artists in this in the world, scientists, math, always everything. 
experimenting with drugs and stuff like that. Certain drugs, not every, not all of them, but yeah. it took them to a different level. You know what I'm saying? Where we can't reach naturally, right? Yeah. If so, if you're really paying attention to whatever drug that you're on or whatever high that you're on, and you're really paying attention, and there's something that you're trying to achieve out of it, then <laughs> hey, it, it, it works. <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. <laughs> Hey, there is hey, results. It's proven. Wait, just it's proven it the like work. Oh, yeah, I slept with the porn oh, yeah, star yeah, yeah. and it was like the biggest thing on the internet. Yeah. I think the problem is they made too much money. Because now he's releasing a reality show yeah. where the prize is a threesome with him and his wife. They're, they're begging for content. Yeah. I think they made a lot of money because the hype that she had around the last time, everybody was talking about it. Everybody was like so upset. I knew but about people were her watching. before Adam, though. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that. I knew about her before. Yeah. Okay, wait. John, you've got a house. Uh, on the figures on the paint asking me. Oh, bro, where are you staying? Oh, I need my wife. My wife. Oh, no, yeah, one. because they have hedonism there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a two-way trip. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, enough time. They like to brother. He's got a house full of guys that want to do it. It's like a, it's like a show. I like what he does. That doesn't even sound like fun. So these are all the guys. The girl and no, 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 no. It's basically it's weird. It's just strange. Watch. What? Oh, the party is like that. Yeah, just so yeah. they can watch. You know there's going to be no black men on that, right? It's all black guys. I was just showing Keith. It? Oh. It's mostly black oh, guys. You'd be surprised how much... Oh, no, no, yeah. So no, 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 we, no, no, no. we take advantage of the situation. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, yeah? We're not? We're not? We're not? We're not? We're not? What network is this going to be? Oh, is that probably... YouTube. He says it's YouTube. So it's accessible. We'll see if YouTube... YouTube is not even a lot of money, is the thing. Unless they got paid for the series. It'll, pro it'll probably be, you know, 19 above. Oh, they would put an age blocker on it? Yeah, for sure. That's so funny that I was concerned about the age blocker. That's hilarious. On suckers and sucker punches. Talking about people. <laughs> well, yeah. Energy you put out. Right, right. Right. It's it's quite simple. Whatever you put out, absolutely is going to come back to you. And whatever it is, I think Nas said it in one of his rhymes on his new album. <laughs> you get what you're asking for. You're going to get it. You know what I mean? Just be ready for it. And I think that's the message right there. Mm -hmm. huh. Thank you for watching another episode of Shop Talk. Please remember to press that subscribe button down at the bottom. Please. I did it.